The answer here is there's only one set of four cups that are all milk, right? There's only one way to draw four correct cups, right? This particular set. Similarly, if the lady has zero of them correct, there's only one set of four cups that are all wrong, that are all t first, right? There's one way to do that as well. We can use a similar thought process to figure out how many ways, how many sets of cups would be one correct, two correct, or three correct. And let's think about that for a moment. So suppose we want to figure out how many ways, how many possible sets of cups that the lady could draw at random would have only one correct. Okay. One possibility is that she will choose this cup, this milk cup, and it'll be the only one she gets correct. And then she'll choose maybe one, two, three, the first three T first cups, right? That's one possibility. This milk and these three T. Or she could choose this milk and these three T, right? Another way to think about the same question is, if she's going to have only one cup correct, it could be this milk cup. And then it could be three of these four T cups. In other words, she'd select all of these T cups except for one. Again, if we're trying to think of a way or the number of ways she could select one milk cup and three teacups, it could be this milk cup and omitting any one of these teacups. In other words, there are four possible sets of cups that include this teacup and three of these four, because there's four of them that she could omit. There's four possible ways to draw this milk cup and three teacups. There's four possible ways to draw this milk cup and three of these. Four possible ways to draw this one and three of these. Four possible ways to draw this one and three of these. In other words, there are four times four ways to draw one milk cup and three teacups. Similarly, if she is going to get three correct, that means we're going to draw three milk cups and one teacup. And another way to say that is she's going to draw only one of these four, and she's going to omit only one of these four, right? Because she's going to have three of them correct and then choose one of these. So there's four possible cups of milk that she could omit, four possible cups of tea that she could include. In order to get three correct, we're again back to four times four is 16. We can go through the same types of calculations, but we won't here, to figure out how many ways, how many sets of cups include two milk cups and two teacups. Okay, and if we did that calculation, the number we'd get would be 36. The number we'd get would be 36. So if the lady is drawing, drawing at random, assuming that the lady does not have this ability and she's actually drawing at random, there's only one set of cups she could draw that's all correct. There's only one set of cups she could draw that's completely incorrect. There are 36 sets of cups she could draw that are half correct. Okay, 16 sets of cups she could draw that are three correct, and 16 sets of cups she could draw that have only one correct. And what I want to do with these numbers, what I want to do with these numbers is make a histogram. Okay. Number correct if lady guessing at random. This is a zero. So we said there's only one way to get them all incorrect or all correct. There are 16 ways to get one out of the three right, sorry, one out of the four right, or three out of the four right, and there are 36 ways to get half right. Okay. Assuming that the lady is guessing at random, this is the distribution, this is the distribution of the number of cups she might get correct. So how do we think about what a distribution is? A distribution is just a list of numbers along with the probability of each of those numbers. So for example, if I'm going to flip a coin, the distribution of what comes up on the coin is heads, tails, each with probability 0.5. If I'm going to roll a die, the possible values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, each with probability 1 out of 6. 
here. If the lady chooses four cups at random, the numbers of cups that she got correct could be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. With probability, 1 out of 70, that's the sum of these numbers, 16 out of 70, 36 out of 70, 16 out of 70, and 1 out of 70. That's the distribution, and we're representing it this way with a histogram.